Hello viewers. Yeah, welcome to my page, Timo Starboy Reality Talk TV. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Yeah, this is another week. I think uh, today um, the tribunal on uh, our election will start today. I think, uh, yeah, today, yeah, that is a uh, uh, May. I think uh, May. May. Um, Eight. Today is May 8th. Yeah, so it's going to be start today. So definitely we will know this course. We will know this course. We know what is uh, coming to us. So uh, we pray for the good uh, things to come. So as uh, our title of today, we will not allow any sworn in on May 29th because the case is still in the court the court has not ruled the court has not ruled their verdict they have not seen that this is the winner so in other words it's just like a, a soccer game you cannot say uh, you are the winner or you are the scorer until the referee said until the referee look at the uh, screen and uh, he said this is a go this is a totally go or it's not go it's a foul play so only go only the referee can judge only the referee can say and not say so uh, in this uh, case it is tribunal is a referee and the referee tribunal as a referee they haven't say it's a go they haven't said the winner of the presidential election that came down on uh, February 25th, 2023. So, as in as much as is a tribunal is the final say now, is the final verdict say. So we should wait for the tribunal to pronounce their verdict to say this is a uh, winner of the election. So we cannot jump. We can jump the track, you know. We cannot jump, so we need to wait and let them say, it. because that they are the final stop, uh, bus stop. They are the final bus stop. So in other words, we are not allowing any swearing or inauguration on anything. Nobody is a winner now. We don't know yet, so we just have to exercise our patience. So in order not to cause any commotion or any unnecessary. Uh, riot you know so that is why we as a uh, agitators you know as a bloggers as a human rights activists we are saying no they should pending the inauguration the sworn in because it's gonna be a fake it's gonna be a fake one and it's gonna bring uh, 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 trouble to the country so we don't need that to avoid that to avoid the trouble to avoid the uh, 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 this um, impunity, you know, to avoid all the uh, the problem that is going to arise. In. So we should just wait for the uh, judiciary system to work. We should wait for the tribunal to do their needful, to do their job, to let the uh, case go as long as it will, it will be fair for everybody. Everybody will be in peace. So we don't need any war. We don't need any riot. So to avoid that, please, uh, our judiciary system should be work and should be work faster because we need the verdict urgently. Because every, uh, some people, they are in hurry, you know? And some people, they want to jump, uh, they, ju they just want to jump out of the car. You know, when the car is uh, <laughs> is moving, yeah? they want to jump after the car. So they are in a hurry. So they should hurry the whole case because they should not do all this uh, uh, delay tactics. You know, we don't need delay tactics. You know, as much as uh, some country, they, they can do it. Like Kenya, like Ghana, they can do it within 14 days, two weeks. Why can't we do our own? Yeah? Why can't we do our own right? 
if not the magomago that is inside the the, the whole system yeah? you are just uh, you, you are the you are you are the uh, uh, lawmaker and you are, you are still a, a lawbreaker so we don't understand which uh, side these are our judicial people they have this our tribunal you know or our supreme court we don't understand whether they have collected money or i don't know so they need to tell us they need to come clean to tell us what is uh, on the table what is up so we should not uh, be just sleeping dozing on uh, on some some cases that are supposed to be in hurry you know to know our fate because the millions of nigeria over 200 millions of Nigeria, they are waiting for their verdict. So, and they are there at the last say. So, this inauguration should not take place. We don't need it. Welcome, Amo Ahmed. God bless you. So, that is what we are saying. So, we don't we want the referee to say the final say. The referee should pronounce the final say and say, okay, they are good to go for their swearing in or for their inauguration or whatever. So without that, we cannot jump the gun, you know? We cannot jump the gun. So we need to know our fate for now. So anyway, uh, without further ado, let me play you this uh, 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 this uh, video so that you will know what we are saying. Because some people, they have wrote a letter, I think the petition to the tribunal that no, they cannot do it that way. They cannot allow this swine to stay, you know? He cannot stand in any way. He cannot stand. He cannot stay. Because it's going to affect our uh, uh, democracy. It's going to affect our democracy in any way, any shape, way it performs. Any, any way that they take it. It's going to affect that democracy. And we don't want any another civil war to happen. Because once they tamper with that democracy line, that is me. They are. They want war. They want second civil war, and that is what we we are trying to avoid. You know, we don't want it. Cynthia, you are welcome. Cynthia, Ode Wing, Ode Wingia, Ode Wingi. So you are welcome. Sorry for not pronouncing your name very well. So you are welcome to the platform. So we are talking about these warring teams. That is going to take place end of this month. That is May. And we don't want it. We, you, to say no. Enough is enough. We, they, they cannot be robbing us with a mud. Enough is enough. This is totally nonsense. And the whole world, worldwide world, they are looking. The whole world, they are looking at our mess. They are looking how we are just doing ourselves, you know. How this judiciary is just... Uh, doing a joking, you know, just playing stupid games, you know. They are work, they are watching us, and they are listening to what you are saying. So why can't we be uh, do things in, in a normal way, in a correctful way, you know? I be, they put things in a pop, proper way, as people they are doing it abroad. So I don't know these uh, these people. I don't know where they come from. They are so gullible. So let me play you this video so we can move on. And because I will play you two videos. So one is talking about uh, maybe about bribe. They are bribing this uh, our judges. You know, the other one is talking about the stopping of the swine in. So I will play that uh, the swine in first. That is very long one. It's uh, 17 minutes, uh, 9 seconds. Yeah, so let's play that one and we go to that uh, bribing one. So let's let's go. Let's roll it. Sorry. Okay, this is this one. Uh, in which we are. I will not hold you too long. Let me put it in this speech. So the third one, after uh, I must have spoken, if any of you... Thank you. If you are joining, just please uh, share our program. Share it, like it. I, I know it's very interesting, you know. So uh, please share it. 
Help us sharing it. Sharing it out. Let it uh, go viral. God will bless you. This is vital information we want to give you. We want to give we want to continue giving you information that will be used for you. It will be very good. You know? We don't want war. We don't want war. We don't want second civil war in Nigeria. It's not gonna be good for us. It's not gonna be good for us this time around. And some people they are enjoying it because they are benefit from uh, all these uh, katakata things. All this as the, the, the country is in chaos, as the country is is bending, as the country is destroying, some people they are just benefit from it. That is why they are they are, they, 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 they are siding the bad side. They, they will see the good side, but they will not follow it. The good will be staring in their face, but they will not they will not turn their face into it. They will rather turn their face to the bad side. Because they are benefit from uh, the, the bad. That is why you can see them coming up, they will say huh, the, the, the uh, election is fair, uh, it's incredible. Eh? With your koroko right, with your eyes, you saw as they, they are killing people, they are injured people. You know? They are injured people, they are carrying ballots, and you are still saying that election is fair and uh, credible. Eh? What kind of English are you using? Where did you learn your English? When they say something is fair and credible, there won't be no blood shed, no, no any riot, nothing. No any disturbance, no uh, all this uh, uh, discrepancy, all this nonsense thing, all this carrying ballot. Even the uh, soldier, they are carrying ballot. Enter keke, enter uh, uh, this uh, bike, running away. We saw it with our two naked eyes. And you are still saying that it's credible. Even your president saying that it's credible is fair. Even that, that man, that one is a half, half body self. We don't know. We don't know which planet he came from. You can never judge from that one because that one, you know, is a corrupt man. He's completely corrupt. For him to be saying that is a, is a credible and fair. You know? Because he want the country to be in, in chaos. He want the country to be destroyed because it's not... It's not an indigenous. It's not a citizen of the Nigeria. You know? Muhammadu Buhari is not a citizen. He's a foreigner. That is why I want the country to, to just go into flame. He doesn't care any single, he doesn't clear single bit. He just want the country to go in flame so that he can run go uh, where he belongs. That is a uh, Niger. You know? Saying that uh, the, the, the election is fair, is fair and credible. Something that everybody saw on the, on the platform, you know, all over the world, even the, the, the uh, international body, they say no, they condemn it. And you are saying that uh, it's fair. You know, what kind of a legacy are you, are you living? What kind of a legacy? Is a lie legacy or a deceived one? Or a murderer one? So this is what we are talking about. We don't need all these leaders that they are they are in a, in a blood shell. They, you know they are they just want to be sucking blood, innocent blood. We don't need them. Enough is enough. Let the youth that they have they still have fresh brain. They are they are, they are with their fresh mind. You know they are intellectual. We have many. We have millions of them. They are in abroad. Even home, home abroad, they are, they are all over the place. So we can select from them to be, to be govern the country. Not all these old, old, old cargoes. They don't know nothing except their pocket, their mouth. Their mouth and their pocket. And they will be saying nonsense things that you cannot hear. So we don't need all these things. All of them should go. Oh, Charles, Chris, welcome. Welcome to the platform. So we should stood start, we should stood straight with them, you know. Let's condemn this nonsense. Enough is enough. We don't need it. This warning should not stay. And we will never stay. Only the youth, only the we can stop it. So let's march out. Let's stop them. This is evil. 
It's not good for democracy. It's totally nonsense. It's totally nonsense. In the middle of a game, you cannot say you, you stop and you declare winner. Whereby the, the game is not finished. The game is not finished. It's in Tava. And you are stopping the game and you declare winner. Say, uh, uh, this, uh, this part is a winner. Who does that? You allow the game to finish. 90 minutes must complete. 90 minutes in the race must completed and you announce the winner. You announce the go-getter. You announce the main feeder. That's how they play the game. Not that we in Taba. In, in the middle of the game, you just say, okay, this uh, side, this A side is the winner. B is the loser. Whereby the, the game is still on. And you change, you change your narrative. No, they don't do that way. Nobody does it in the, all over this world. Nobody. I never see. Only in Nigeria, everything just happens awkwardly. And that is one thing that we want to straight up. Please, guys, share this thing. Let it reach them. Share it to their, to their doorstep. You know? We are talking sense here. They just want to destroy the democracy we have. And we will not allow them. It will never happen. So let's continue this uh, video. 25, Please hear very well. Hear and this uh, video Assembly very well. There's a lot of sense in it. And the consequent unprecedented tension and criticism that throughout the independent national political commission, I think, announcement of a presidential election result. There's a lot of sense in it. The country's judiciary is today on trial. Since INEC traveled to meet most of its set guidelines, including the failure to transmit votes as promised from the polling units to the central server, the announced Presidential results have been challenged by five of the major political parties in the country, including the Labour Party, PDP, and others. We therefore call on the country's judiciary to consider the general interest of the millions of Nigerians, as well as the corporate existence of Nigeria, in having these electoral, electoral questions in order to avoid miscarriage of justice that may precipitate serious crisis in the country. Since the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, allows anyone agreed after the announcement by INEC on the United election results to go on appeal from the tribunal to the Supreme Court to determine the final winner of the election, yeah. it stands to reason that no one should be sworn in as the winner before the apex court pronounces who, in its opinion, is the true winner of the election. Common sense requires that until the apex court pronounces who the winner is, mm. the election is only midway 
I'm going to do a dog run. Close to me, swearing you as a winner of the election is torture. And nothing other than announcing the result of the match in the middle of the game. The match ends with Rapid Scott announcing who the next opinion is the winner of the election. Exactly. We therefore urge the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to swear in only the person I judged by that Scott to be the winner of the election. To swear in anyone when the case is still pending in the court is to prejudice the view of the Appeals Court or to urge the court to confirm whoever is so prematurely sworn in. To swear in anyone before the verdict of the Appeals Court is indirectly urging that the court confirms the candidate or it is one It's like a case in a football match. If during a football match, one side mm. strikes a ball to the goal area of the opposing side, and there is a dispute as to whether or not a goal has been scored. It is only the referee who decides whether or not it is a goal. Yeah. No side will make a claim until the referee has given his decision as to whether, in actual fact, a goal has been scored or not. In such a situation, I will now, on this disputed election, as to who is the winner. Senegal, Atiku, or Obi, that's the state on which we are today. Mm. On to the referee, in this case, the Supreme Court gives the verdict as to who is the rightful owner. Yes. Or, and then, and then, when she was sworn in. Except as the court has given its verdict. Okay, God will bless you. To swear in now anyone as the president as the president before the apex court gives its name is to defeat the spirit of the game. And cause a confusion both within the judiciary and the general public. Such a situation should therefore be avoided in a federal system such as we are in today. Consequently,
Yes. And such a man will then be sworn in as the authentic president of the President of Nigeria. Thank you, gentlemen. We went with the petition arising from the elections. And we are saying that Nigeria should go and live from there. So that we don't have any handover. We want to make sure that whoever imagines as our president as we has the entire country behind the person. And if Kenya could do it in 14 days, yeah. Nigeria should be able to do it in more than over, over, over two, two months now. And so we want the country judiciary to rise up to the occasion and to do this thing so that we don't have a problem with uh, 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 what the judiciary is doing. If the judiciary is truly the last hope of the common man, this is the time when the Nigerian judiciary should say so. Because I think the judiciary that is on trial, the whole world is watching. Yeah. So you can ask your question. You say the Supreme Court, I mean the Constitution of Nigeria, doesn't have a provision for that. How do you? The Constitution of Nigeria does not say that a president must be sworn in on 29th of May. 30s. This case is not. <laughs> you don't be found in the court. The late 30s. Mm. They know oh, how. Like they know how they are playing their dirty game. They know if they favor them, they will do it let sharp, the, sharp. Let the uh, judicial process hasten up. And to, if they want to, if they say it must be sworn, the, the 
can the Kaweba Waste Management Aid on treatment of uh, men. Then let the court finish its process. The court, the twenty-nine. The appeal court, a Supreme Court, finish the 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 the, the process of the court before twenty-nine. From the period you mentioned till now, many things have been done, many innovations. Mm. There was nothing like a card reader when Yaradu and Obasanjo were elected. There was nothing like the reverse. So a number of innovations have been put in place. And so we believe that now things are easy. Hmm. So those things you think were impossible then are possible now. So as you rightly pointed out, the judiciary can do it. It was done in Kenya. The yeah. Nigerian judiciary is lost. It it's was done in Kenya, it was done in Ghana. Can do Why can't we do it? And we are the giant of Africa. Huh? Nigeria is a giant of Africa. He cannot do nothing. Before the final. Huh? Are you listening to me? <laughs> When they want to rig, they can do fast fast. I don't want anyone, everyone to listen to me. But if they want to do something good, if they will do slow, slow, slow. Now. Ah. Anybody then, don't why so? We are not a fool anymore. We said the, the case uh, is not over until the Supreme Court. We don't I sharp our so. face. We don't sharp our mind. Hmm. We know the fool. In some other way, I'll turn the Supreme Court. Hmm. Better compare with what has been done. And not, and not uh, anything else. Please if share, share, share our problem. program. Thank you. But if share you don't do so, the same problem. Share it, share it. Therefore, I like it. Why not wait <coughs> until final adjudication mm. and the referee says this is who has won? How can you say? that the, 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 the boy you played to the goalpost mm. is a girl. <laughs> Simply because it is not to the goalpost. When the referee has not given the final uh, answer, yes, Abby. wait for the referee to say it is a girl or it is not a girl.